Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. Ooh, big time cold settling in here. By golly, this is nearly almost as cold as the air we had earlier this month. And again, a long duration sub-freezing period setting up for a lot of folks around here. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture, and that is a very familiar sight. This is the flow pattern at 500 millibars on top of the water vapor satellite imagery. We got a big trough over the east. Uh, phase one of the cold air is here now. Phase two with that next uh, short wave coming down the backside of the long wave trough arrives tomorrow. And it's cold enough today. Uh, daybreak, Birmingham is at 16. Anniston, 19. Coleman, 15. Haleyville, 11. And it's going to be colder than that Friday morning. Uh, in fact, the latest guidance coming in colder. And the numbers just kind of speak for themselves. It has been so cold this winter for the eastern half of the United States. Now, uh, on that map, we've got uh, Alabama highlighted in uh, a lot of colors. First off, in northeast Alabama, that is a wind chill advisory for uh, Jackson and DeKalb counties. That will expire this morning. A hard freeze warning, the counties in blue. And again, that's for this morning. That includes uh, Birmingham and uh, Anniston and Gadsden. Now, the counties in purple are the pink colors there. The southern two-thirds of the state, that is a red flag advisory. Very low dew points and very dry air. Settling in here, and that means there's going to be a higher danger, a high danger of wildfires. So, uh, just don't do any outdoor burning. And up north, blizzard warnings for parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota, and all the counties in the lighter shades of blue. Those are wind chill advisories. It's just cold. If you're looking for snow, there's your hot spots. Uh, lake effect snows cranking up around the Great Lakes. The big snowstorm on the upper Atlantic coast is winding down this morning. And uh, new snow will break out across parts of the Rockies. But around here, just dry. This is the uh, precipitation through Monday morning of next week. Nothing. This air very dry. And our next big rain event will be sometime in February. All right, let's kind of walk you through this cold snap. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. That lead wave is off the upper Atlantic coast. The second one coming down through the uh, Great Lakes, and really, this is going to be the nicest day, you know, for the rest of the week. It's still going to be very cold. The high will be in the upper 30s today, but at least the wind, not as bad as yesterday, and the sun will be out in full force. But again, the high will be in the upper 30s. Next time we see 40 will be Saturday afternoon. All right, tomorrow, here comes a new surge of cold air. Look at that 1046 high flexing its big muscle there over the Great Plains. The wind picks up again. We'll have a north wind of uh, 12 to 25. Uh, the high will drop to near the freezing mark. The uh, NAM is printing a high of 32. The wind chill index will be in the single digits much of the day. Areas north of Birmingham won't get out of the 20s tomorrow afternoon. And this is Friday. The surface high is right on top of us, and that's going to be our coldest morning. The latest NAM is printing 10. The GFS printing 11 for Birmingham. That means we'll see some single-digit lows north of Birmingham in the colder pockets, uh, and that's going to be the coldest morning. And then during the day Friday, I don't think we climb above freezing. The, sun, the sky will be sunny, the high probably around 30, but at least the wind not bad. That's a good thing about Friday. Now, this is Saturday. Saturday morning is going to be cold. I think we'll do upper teens, but finally, we climb above the freezing mark by mid-morning Saturday. But uh, for, for many north-central Alabama communities, not all, but for many, uh, they will be below freezing from 6 o'clock this evening until 10 o'clock Saturday morning. That's 64 consecutive hours. Um, and uh, again, a lot of folks around here will stay... Uh, you know, not get out of the 20s north of Birmingham tomorrow and Friday. We finally get above 40 Friday and Saturday. But look, next week, another shot of cold air coming in here early in the week. As we, uh, again, just, you can see Tuesday morning, we're going to be down there back in that, uh, you know, 10 to 15 degree range. 
I mean, the cold air masses just keep on rolling. Uh, here's Sunday. A pretty good chance we go up in the 50s on Sunday. Uh, the high Saturday will be in the 40s. The high Saturday low to mid or the high Sunday low to mid 50s. And this is Monday. Look what's uh, coming back. Here comes the trough down below that. The winds pick up on Monday. We turn cold again. Uh, this is going to be a day where, again, we could see falling temperatures. We'll say a high of maybe in the middle 40s, but we could be in the mid-30s by late afternoon. Kind of like the deal we had yesterday, and this is Tuesday. Tuesday morning is going to be very cold. Arctic high right on top of us. I'd say lows between 10 and 15. High Tuesday afternoon only in the upper 30s. And Wednesday, still we're cold. We're watching that little feature on the Western Gulf. We've seen evidence of that in some runs, but more than likely that will dampen out and be shunted south of here. Uh, for now, I don't think we have any snow issues by the middle of next week. Just something to watch. Let's go out there into February. What do you say? This is the fourth. Now, we got a trough over the plains. That would be a different look, and that will warm us up and bring us a big rain event if this is right. There's been some good consistency in this idea. Surface load near Memphis. There could be some thunder with that. And look what's back in two more days. You guessed it, another Arctic shot, February the 6th. And that is a big, nasty 1057 millibar high feeding that cold air over western Canada. Goodness gracious. I think a lot of folks are ready for spring. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. This morning we'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.